All right, we're going to do heights and weights, so most of you are going to have to stay out here. When we first met nurse Noreen Scully at Long Pond Middle School in New Jersey back in 2004. Okay, Mel, you know the drill on the scale. She was busy keeping tabs on the height and weight of 430 students and using those numbers to calculate their BMI, or body mass index. That's the gauge of total body fat. Great, Matt. Whenever a student's BMI went above what's considered a healthy level, Scully sent home a special health referral, a health report card, to their parents. We give them the child's height and weight, we give them their body mass index, and then we tell them what the averages are. Okay, stand nice and tall, real straight. Three years later, we wanted to know how Scully was doing. You guys are all around the same size. And we found her still busy getting those measurements as mandated by state law. New Jersey is one of eight states that require schools to send parents BMI report cards. At Long Pond, Scully has seen a positive trend. We've seen statistically less children being referred, particularly in the younger grades. So hopefully that it is making an impact, sending those referral letters, and then also making them, educating them about good nutrition and appropriate exercise for children. But despite this school's success in fighting fat and nationwide attention to the problem of obesity, Cheese pizza. most of America's children are still losing the battle of the bulge. The Institute of Medicine says the obesity rate in children and teenagers is up from 16 to 17.1 percent over the past two years and could rise to 20 percent by the end of the decade. That's a red flag for many parents, including some who were apprehensive when their kids first came home with a BMI report card. Initially, my first reaction is I think what every parent feels, and that's, what are they saying? Michelle Ender's daughter got one in the second and fourth grades. Her unease was soon replaced by concern for her daughter's health. If a parent is told something negative about their child, it, it's not received well, even if it is true, it's not received well. Um, but if you, if you kind of set those issues aside and look at it as a health standpoint, then, you know, you're making that choice for your child. She has replaced juices high in sugar with low calorie drinks, helping her daughter get back to a healthy weight. In addition to the BMI letter, school cafeterias in New Jersey cannot serve food of little nutritional value, junk food, candy and soft drinks. Snacks with more than eight grams of fat are also out. Exercise is also part of the nutritional policy, even given as homework. Okay, Kevin, you can step down, thanks. While most of the country is failing the grade on obesity, Nurse Scully says Long Pond students are getting the message. We're trying to have children that have lifelong skills, lifelong healthy skills. We don't want this generation to be the first generation that has the a shorter life expectancy than, than their parents do. But not every state has embraced the BMI report card. Texas balked at regulating eating habits, and Georgia worried about potentially harming its students' self-esteem.